Another day on the Dakota Hawk. I've glued the wing tip things is spot. So I've got them on every rib all the way down. I did, I didn't screw up, but I should have thought first. I was thinking about the wingtip, the Horner wingtip. So I started here and went every five feet down, but then I said, well, I gotta bring it back because I'm going to bend it around. I don't know if you can see that. There's your corner wing tip rib. There's how the plywood's gonna come around, and then I'll just, it's not quite flat, but I'm just gonna have this come straight out so that the plywood comes right out to here. Curve all the way around the plywood wheel sitting on there. The plywood's gonna wrap around, the 130 second's gonna wrap around and it's gonna map up, meet up with that plywood on the wingtip all the way around. So that will make a nice curve all the way around there. So I was thinking about that and I said, said, well, we won't start here. We'll back it up six inches. But then I thought, I don't want to end on a false spar. So let's back it up one foot. So I came down four feet, put in the double spacers there. So one piece of plywood will come to here. The next will start there. Meets up here. Double spacer and comes on down. So this way I've got waste on one end and waste on the other end. I should have started at the root end, went down five feet, went down another five feet, and then just had this last little bit. But, oh well. I am sure I will be able to use those little scraps of plywood somewhere. But in the meantime, I've cut out the plywood for that. It'll go on the front wing tip all the way down. I've got some plywood ready to cut here and I will do that as soon as I get. I'll glue on this rib today. I'll glue on the plywood leading edge tomorrow when this is dry and then we can figure out the exact look of the piece of plywood that's going to go on there. I've got uh, the blocking in here for the main spar blocking that will attach to the rib there. I'm going to have to put in a little extra here so that this has more meat to grab onto there. Just glue on a piece here and wrap it around there a bit. I'm not sure exactly, but we'll figure out something to hold it there. I was thinking about putting one, if you look at the plans, they have that triangle about halfway down here. So there's a triangle from the top and from the bottom that comes to the, where the rib is in the middle. That's if you're putting fabric. I'm going to do all of this in plywood. So I'm not going to make that triangular one in the middle there. What I will do is do lattice work from here to here, from here to here. Um, over at this one, I'll come across and I'll come across. And with the main spar and the rear spar, that will be plenty strong enough and then on the top, this 132nd, I might wrap all the way down and around to the back and then have that whole wingtip as solid ply. That's the plan anyway. Um, looking good, if you ask me. What I'm going to do is 
before I put on, I'll put on this piece of ply, but before I do the top ply, I'll see if I want to put um, navigation lights or something on the wing tip out here somewhere. So that'll leave me access so I can actually mount that somewhere. I'm not sure exactly what and how to set that up. Maybe right in the tip here somewhere. We'll think about that when we kind of get it formed. But that's it for another day. Uh, a lot of figuring on how to do that wing tip was done. And I think I've got it where I want it. For the bottom here, I can just sand this so that it's nice and smooth all the way down. And that'll get everything smooth there. And yeah, I think she's gonna be good. Alrighty, that's another day. Leave your comments and any suggestions below. Okay, the day's not over yet. I went ahead, glued on the Horner wing tip rib. Um, I was playing with this angle and stuff and I had a piece of scrap ply so I might just glue that in there to strengthen that whole front of the rib. I'm gonna just wait and see. I'm not gonna glue it in yet because I just want to see again with wing tip lights if I put a light in there for a navigation light or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna see about that. I went and uh, glued on the leading edge to there, fairly straightforward. Um, gluing on the bottom first. Then, when that's dry, you can go ahead and curl it around. Uh, one thirty second. This stuff just cuts with a exacto knife. Probably a sharp pair of scissors will cut it. It's not much thicker than a little piece of cardboard, but you get the good aircraft grade. And I think there's three or four layers in one thirty second. That's what the guy was telling me when I bought that. So that is some nice engineered plywood. All right, I'm going to let all that dry up. don't know how much time I'm going to have this week to work on it. And next weekend, I'm out of town, so I might sit for a while. But I'd sure like to get that wrapped around, see what it looks like, and get that... Uh, maybe the plywood put on here anyways to give us an idea what that wingtip's going to look like. I think it's looking good, but that's just me. All right, see you next week.